Welcome everyone to another Fantastic Beasts episode for Apocalypse Now. Today our focus falls on Casper, the unfriendly ghost. Along with the Inferno Cop, this apparition is probably one of the first unique monsters that you will meet in Apocalypse Now. Right at the start of your game he has a chance to spawn. You won't see him roaming around initially, but very likely he will appear in a POI that you are exploring. He looms up when you least expect it and due to his partially invisible texture he can be quite difficult to spot at times. Depending on what his background is, often you will struggle to see him. We looked at the Terminator and the Exploder Zombie previously and like those which have three versions, Casper comes in five different varieties. One of the reasons that you will see him at the start is that he is a weak version which has a chance to start haunting you on day one. The weak Casper generally has low hit points from around about 150 to 200. Next on the list is the regular Casper who starts to appear around about game stage 25. So you should expect to see him by the time you get to your first Horde Knight. He sports around 300 to 400 hit points and like the weak version is also not armored. From around game stage 100, Casper starts to become a bit more of a bother. This is the feral version which usually has around 600 to 1000 hit points and also now has some weak armor. With more armor than the feral variety, the tough version starts to appear about game stage 200 with a healthy 1000 to 2000 hit points. Finally, we have the mutated Casper, which starts to reveal himself at around about game stage 400, with between 2,500 and nearly 5,000 hit points at times. Of the five Caspers, he is the most difficult to wear down with the most armor and significant health regeneration, so make sure that you have anti-rad remover mods to help combat that as well. One of the great things about all the Caspers is that they fit into the blue bag variety of loot. So if you see this unfriendly ghost, do take the time out of your busy schedule to proton pack him back to where he came from. Especially when you are starting out in your first week, he can often drop better loot than what you are picking up in your scavenging. Apocalypse Now for Alpha 21 has many changes and updates coming to the mod. One of the new sound effects will be added to Casper at that time. The wasteland is a very scary place. Now imagine wandering around and out of the darkness you hear. As mentioned, the higher level Caspers do have armor, so your armor piercing ammo is going to be more useful mid to end game. Caspers are also immune to fire, so that means all those Molotovs of yours are going to be pretty useless. Besides fire immunity, you also have immunity to shock. He also has a much lower chance of being crippled and knocked down. None of the Caspers bring much hurt to the table. Even on day one, you would be able to withstand a few hits without any armor from the lower end versions. However, the tough and mutated version are not messing around with their higher hit damage. Coupled with the extra armor, immunity to fire and shock, the lower chance to cripple and slow down, Casper can be a pain to keep from getting up close and personal. Killer Bunny's Apocalypse now has variety, and Casper certainly does prove that in being an interesting and fun monster to encounter. So, get out there and do some ghost busting, and I will see you in the next one.